and welcome again to the world of water. Today we will learn how to remove the hardness from water. So when we say the hardness from water, we definitely mean how to remove the calcium and the magnesium ions specifically from the water. Now for the removal of hardness of water, actually there are two ways or two methods. What? We do the treatment and one of them is called as internal treatment. So the treatment actually is the internal treatment and the other way of doing is external treatment. So what do we do in these type of treatments? Let's try to discover now. First of all, let's try to understand what is internal treatment. Actually, the treatment of raw water, which is done itself inside the boiler without taking the water to a separate tank or a separate using some external technique, without all these tantrums, we do the treatment of water inside the boiler itself. And this internal treatment is also called as sequestration. So I write it over here. It is called uh, also called as sequestration. Okay, so that also term also stands for the internal treatment. Actually, what happens? An iron in this process in an iron is prohibited. It is prevented to show its original character by uh, converting it into some other more soluble salt. Okay, and how do we do that? We definitely are able to do that by adding appropriate reagent. Okay, so it can be done by internal treatment can be done by two processes. First is appropriate chemicals are used. They are added to the boiler water so that these chemicals, they are helpful in precipitating out the hardness causing salts and hence what will happen then? the scale formation or the sludge formation will be avoided and the second way of doing is um, the problem causing cations are converted into the compounds which will stay in the dissolved form in the water and thus they will not deposit as scale or come out as sludge okay and in the uh, external treatment what is the difference actually in external treatment we take the boiler to a uh, sorry we take the water to a separate tank or a container or let's say we use some uh, equipments and instruments to remove the hardness from the water and once the hardness is removed from that particular hard water we take that water into the boiler then or in other words we use that softened water for the boiler purposes so in here in external treatment boiler water is not treated uh, directly okay it is the treated water that is taken to the boiler so okay uh, let's move to the internal treatment back there are different ways or different types by which of internal treatment is done uh, one of them is the calgan conditioning okay so this is calgan conditioning the other way is carbonate conditioning wherein carbonate ions are involved and another way is phosphate conditioning where phosphate ions are involved. Now there are different situations under which these conditionings are done actually. There are different circumstances. So let's start, uh, start with the Calgan conditioning first. Now what happens in Calgan conditioning? In Calgan conditioning a chemical compound is used which is, chemi uh, which is commercially called as Calgan. Now what is this actually? Chemically it is sodium hexa meta phosphate so this is sodium hexa meta phosphate which is commercially called as calgan okay and this calgan is added to the boiler water so as to prevent the formation of scale and sludge now how does this calgan works actually this calgan it converts the scale forming impurity into the soluble complex compound and what is that scale forming impurity it is nothing else but calcium sulfate 
okay so i'll write the formula for calgon and see how it works calgon is sodium hexametaphosphate so it is na2 na4 po3 whole 6 right this is cal our calgon what happens actually in water it uh, dissociates into the respective ions and what are these respective ions na plus plus na4 po3 whole 6 okay and minus 2 right so this is how actually calgon is existing in the water now now this will this anion will come across the calcium sulfate which is present in our hard water and is the nuisance creating salt because it leads to the formation of the scales okay and when it this uh, anionic form comes across the calcium sulfate it converts this calcium sulfate into a complex which is ca2 PO3 whole 6 and minus 2. Okay, so instead of Na4 here, calcium ion comes and sits over here, and plus we get twice Na2SO4. Okay, now this is actually the soluble form. Okay, so this is the soluble complex. Once it has the calcium sulfate has been converted into the soluble complex, so it will not uh, go and gets deposit on the inner wall of the boiler and hence what will happen? The scale formation will not occur. So here what do you have to do? We, you take the boiler, you add water to the boiler, that is the boiler feed water and you simply add calgon to the boiler feed water and it will do its job. It will convert the scale forming salt that is calcium sulfate into the soluble complex so the scale formation will not take place okay usually what is done the concentration of calgon which is added to the water it lies in the range of 0 0.5 to 5 ppm so 0 0.5 to 5 ppm of calgon is added to prove to the water to prevent the scale formation now there are two conditions two situations actually what happens at low temperature when the temperature is low at low temperature and uh, pressure uh, what does calgon do calgon forms a stable soluble complex so a stable soluble complex is formed at low temperature and pressure so that is not a problem it's the same thing which is happening over here the problem is when you have something different and what is that different at high temperature what happens high temperature and pressure what happens calgon is actually converted to the sodium orthophosphate okay so calgon gets converted to sodium orthophosphate how does it occurs let's see the chemical reaction so this is my calgum na2 na4 po3 whole 6 this is my calgon in water when the temperature is increased and the pressure also is changed what will happen this calgon itself gets converted to na2 p2 o7 plus h2 gas okay and i balance the equation over here here also six will come and this will go two times so this is sodium orthophosphate so gal calgon gets converted to sodium orthophosphate but what is the harm if gets if it gets converted to sodium orthophosphate definitely if it itself is getting converted to the sodium orthophosphates and then, then how will it go and uh, take out our calcium sulfate how will it do what will happen now let's see now what happens this sodium orthophosphate it comes across the calcium sulfate which is present in the water and it will form CaP2O7 plus Na2SO4. Okay. And this, what is this? This is calcium orthophosphate. 
okay and it is actually a loose sludge it is a loose sludge it comes out in the form of loose sludge which can easily be blown off or it can be removed by the blow down operation so this calcium orthophosphate is formed now instead of this complex which was forming initially okay so calgan actually we can say that uh, indirectly we can say that it gets affected by the temperature and the pressure which is present inside the boiler so this was our calgan uh, conditioning uh, an internal treatment method for the removal of the scale forming uh, salt which is present in the water or the hard water okay i hope this uh, video makes things simpler for you